All right, everybody, welcome back. Hey, um, just want to do a quick comment on something real quick, and then I'm going to dig into this other stuff. That being said, uh, the video that's just uploading, um, I just want to kind of touch on that. Um, it's it's it has the name Stacy on it. Please pray for her and continue into prayer until these things are broken. I don't know what happened. I uh, I, I just felt. Like, towards the end of that video, it was like, I felt, like, pressure and pain. And I just seen this guy figure and, and looked like a attack, you know, it was almost like an attack mode is what I kept feeling out of, the, out of the presence of this person. And that's why I asked if there's an ex or a boyfriend or, or a male figure that's real close to her in that video. That being said, uh, one second. Um, that being said, um, I, I just want to touch on the signing in blood thing. Uh, a lot of people are, are commenting on this and I'm getting emails and stuff on this going. So what you're saying is this, now what I'm saying is this, everything, but <clears throat> blasphemy against the Holy spirit, you reject Christ. It's like taking on the chip. Uh, you willingly took on the mark of the beast. There's no repentance from that. You're not. You can repent all night and day. You take willingly take the mark of the beast. You willingly reject Jesus, and He comes. You're not going to heaven. I'm sorry. I, I don't care if you were, you were the best steward out there in the world and you did everything under Christ's name. And when He comes, there is no repentance. The Bible clearly states this. The other thing is, is in it, when you sign your name in blood, most likely you're, they're not going to repent, people. They're not going to find their way to repentance. The devil's going to make sure of that. Look, Katy Perry grew up in a Christian home, and she's, she's flat out telling you, why doesn't she repent? That's my case right there. Even she's telling you the devil is coming for her. She feels suicidal. Why doesn't she repent? Because it's not there no more. When you sign your name in blood, it does something totally different. And and I and there's a lot of things that I, I, I don't speak on because I don't want children coming across this and going and doing this. We're losing enough kids. The devil's taking so much control over everything. We have to stand up. We have to understand. You know, churches are beyond churches anymore. It's more, it, it, there's more, I honestly, it's very hard to go into church to worship, first of all. Because I, I wasn't going to dig into this church stuff yet. I, I really want to dig into what I got on this paper. And honestly, it's a lot. And I, I mean go from top to bottom um, plus I still got all this <laughs> um, oh yeah and this I don't know if you can see it but anyways um, I gotta put this back on top because I, I, this is important um, well it's all important but this is really important um I, I believe the devil wants to distract and he's trying to twist things and he's trying to get your attention on other things than what's happening right now. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of talking about the, the technology, the robots. Uh, I just read an article with two robots attacked and killed four people. These things I see is not so far out when people, when this truth starts hitting social media. Um, 
I, I, I think I'm going to hold off on the church thing right now because um, I, I don't know. I, I just feel very strong in this. Um, let me grab my Bible. Well, I just grabbed the first one I could grab. The other one's in the box. and I got it all with my notes. Uh, the other notes. Uh, let me go... Revelation 13.3. I'm going to read 13.3 and then I'm going to read uh, the, the verse before and the verse after. I like doing that for my own knowledge and hopefully it'll give you a little bit more sight of it too. Revelation 13.3 talks about the beast from the sea. And I show... Oh my. And I saw one of his heads and his has been mortally wounded and... His deadly wound was healed, and all the world marveled and followed the beast. Right before that, verse 2. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard. His feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him power, his throne, and great authority. Verse 3. And I saw his head, and it has been mortally wounded and his deadly wound was healed and all the world marveled and followed the beast so they worshiped the dragon who gave authority to the beast and they worshiped the beast saying who is like the beast who is able to make war with him the antichrist the beast is lucifer given authority this is what's happening it's right now this is happening. The nonsense with that rabbi coming out there claiming to be Jesus. Doing signs and wonders. Some may say it's a false prophet. They're also now celebrating the third temple getting ready to be built. Rumors of wars and war. World War Three. We keep messing with Ukraine and this keeps happening. This is going to be our World War Three. What also happens out of this is destruction. It's going to bring in total chaos. We're already having it. Look at all the riots. Look at all the disruption. You look at all the mockery of God that's going on right now. You look at all the events that's taking place right now before our eyes. We are killing children. You know why they came against Christ so much and they were using what the day stands for, the baby murderers and all this stuff? What are you doing? You're killing the baby Jesus by exiting him out of Christmas. It's not a coincidence that God used that date of exactly what was happening in that time to let us celebrate his son's birth. Renewal. Rebuilding. But we're okay with all the other nonsense that we're doing. You understand more people spoke... In the month of November and December to ban Christmas. And these are Christians. Christians. And one of them we knew very well. Quickly came against. Listen to the whole video before you comment or say, Who, excuse me? First of all, you start talking crazy talk and you're right, I'm going to come against it. Don't post anything if you don't want someone to come against it. Especially when I bring truth and I bring love. I brought a brotherly love and you shot me down. You didn't want to hear it. You didn't want your people to hear it on your channel. That's nonsense what you're talking. Xing Christ out of Christmas? And then you're going to tell me that Jesus told you? Jesus personally told you to take 
Christmas away. His birth. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, people. I find this very hard to swallow. But it explains where we're at. And I'm bringing this up. And I'm not coming against her. That's fine. She can, she can block me. She can do whatever she wants. That's, that's fine, too. You know, the devil's separating people. See what's happening? He doesn't want truth to come into their lives. He wants them to roll down the avenue they're rolling down of the dead-end detour signs that he's knocking down so you can't see them because he wants you to crash and burn. You're definitely going to crash and you're definitely going to burn. The hell's full of it. Anyways. Um... Still 13.8. And who dwells on the earth will worship him, whose name has not been written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. He who leads into captive shall go into captive. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Well... I, I, for some reason, I, I, I just have this uneasy feeling tonight. I mean, it, I, I was praying over this uh, over Stacy, and um, she, she did give me permission. And something's not sitting right with me, and it's still not sitting right with me. You know, and it's like um, I just feel like. Not even Stacy, but I'm feeling like there's someone else that's being attacked right now. There, there's a spiritual attack going on with somebody. And if it's and if it's you, please comment. Because, first of all, we're bringing God's glory into this. And, and, and it's waking people up. Because when people start hearing prophecy of things, and people start seeing things come true, and people start seeing that the spiritual realm is real... It's going to wake people up. And I, I really believe right now someone, and, and it's a current person. I, I, I don't believe it's a new person that's going to come on. I believe this is someone that I've been talking with back and forth. I, I truly believe this. I feel it. It's something is not right. I mean, it is just, my spirit is not sitting right with this. I mean, I, it's, it's like, here I go again. I started off and it's just like something is just like, I don't know what it is, but I pray the Lord does, and I pray that he opens the spiritual part of this up. Okay. Okay. Let's go on. Yes, let's do it. Glad you guys are with me tonight. What else do you have to do besides listen to me go on rampages? <laughs> Second Thessalonians. 9 through 11. The coming of the lawlessness, one according to the working of Satan, which all power signs in lying wonders, and with the unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong. God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in the unrighteousness. Right there. You're living a worldly way and you're following the world's ways and you're living an unfaithful life. And you're allowing the unfaithfulness to come into your life. I don't care what good works you do. I don't care what good favors you have done. Because.
But I did find this, and actually I was going to touch on this, um, 11 through 15. Um, then I saw the great white throne and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth of the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. And the books, and the books were open. Remember, I told you, each person has a certain amount of books. I have a few books, you have a few books. Our name is written in a book of life. But also, I'll get into the different books if you'd like. Let me finish. Standing, the books, the books were open. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged accordingly to their works by the things which were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead, were in the death, and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each one accordingly to their works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Judgment day for unbelieving. Verse 15, anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Well, there you go. Let me just go right over this. And I saw the dead small and great standing before God. Small and great. Well, we could take it as small. Would it be a small person, small child? Well, that's impossible, Nelson, because there is no children in hell. There's no children in heaven. Well, that's your opinion. And you're entitled to it. And that's great. I'm glad. I'm glad that that's your opinion and I don't have to accept your opinion. That's the opportunity of moving away from the world's thoughts. Because I know what I saw. And I know what's there. There's no... If there's no children in heaven... Then what about the people that has lost children? Where do they go? Good question. I don't want to have this conversation no more. And then I'm going to say back to you why. Because I gave you thought of something that you can't give it a, a good enough answer for. I'm not coming against you. I'm just trying to give you thought and I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you come on the journey and willingly. I'm not forcing you. I'm not forcing anybody. Like I said, I'll do these videos if nobody comments. I'll do the videos if nobody watches them. I will do them until Jesus tells me to stop. So, the devil is attacking people left and right, and it's getting stronger and stronger because we know this time is coming right here. Exactly what I just wrote in there in Second uh, Thessalonians and in Revelation, and now just in Revelation again. I was actually looking for a different scripture that came to mind, so I figured. Um, I figured why we were here why not touch on that also okay people um, I was talking about the war with uh, uh, Ukraine 
and I believe I was talking about that in, in inside the Stacy video also um, people you understand if this war continues this is going to bring a lot of downhill spiral effect on United States there's going to be this will basically if this continues this is going to be our World War three this Ukraine nonsense they're trying to stop the oil flow they're trying to stop power the rise of food I'm telling you we're gonna have we're gonna start you're gonna see it I believe within the next six months we're gonna see a huge food shortage beyond what we have ever seen and then what are they gonna do they're gonna rise the prices because we're in such a shortage They're going to try and control us, people. Sometime this year, I believe the dollar is going to be wiped out. It's going to be totally gone, and we are going to see digital money. They're going to take our bank accounts, and they're going to turn it into this digital nonsense. The same thing I told you they did with our chip cards. We're not going to have a say. They're just going to do it. We do have a say, but they don't care. They're going to do it. You know why? Because the, the Biden administration is still in control. All these people that are going saying Trump would have came back this year and God, God tarried or God because we didn't pray and all this stuff. No. Is it fixed? I don't know. All I'm saying is the devil's gaining ground. The new temple in Jerusalem is going to be start being built. We know at the end, Lucifer will sit in the temple, sit on a throne, and he will portray himself as God. Well, there's already a rabbi going around doing signs and wonders, claiming to be Jesus. Jesus also speaks in the Bible to stay clear from these things. Don't be fooled. That rabbi is not Jesus. First of all, where does it ever say that Jesus is going to come back? Jesus, when it talks about Jesus coming back for on earth, he's taking us back home. He's not staying here. He's not going to walk around the earth. The, what does say that we'll stay here and walk around the earth is the Antichrist and Lucifer. Um, the days of Noah. We're standing in the days of Noah. Go read it. Go read Noah. What did they do in Noah's time? Laugh, marry, drunkenness. Uh, they were about themselves. Battling back and forth. People, we are already seeing this. We have such hatred. We got riots. We got attacks. They're trying to defund the police. That which is lawlessness. People, 2023, the Lord says, how your end of last year will end. It will come in. You will go into a up and down movement. And then it's just going to, bottom is going to drop out. And it's just going to drop out and hit us all at once. You realize if this digital money comes in, they're going to control us. They've already got so much control over us now. We are going to lose. We are going to lose. Jobs. This recession is going to climb even more. And just when we think it can't get no worse, it's going to get worse. I told you. Get some candles. Because they're going to control your utilities. They're already doing it. I mean, our gas bill just shot through the roof. I mean, it went from 50 some dollars to almost $200 for this month. And the funny thing is, my wife's there by herself most of the time. So how in the world, I'm not there. We have nobody else living in the house. Um, the only thing, gas is our hot water tank in our furnace. 
and I, our stove's not. So I guess I don't have no problems about the stove uh, with the, them trying to ban the gas stoves. Well, let me ask you something, uh, Einstein's. Um, if you're gonna get, if you're gonna ban gas stoves, are you gonna get ban gas uh, uh, furnaces too? Because it's the same concept. And I know what I'm talking about because I, I have done HVAC for a long time. So it, it still puts off a, a smell if, if the pilot goes out on those. Um, hot water tanks. What about that? You're going to ban those next? They're, they're gonna, that all going to be on the same thing? Uh, you know, the furnace vents out the top. You know, some of them vent out through, a, you know, side uh, wall. Um, uh, come on, give me a break. You realize if you put a pan inside of an electric oven and burn it and smoke comes out of it, it's the same as what you're saying, the concept of a gas. You just want control. You want to shut off our fossil fuels. Wake up, America. This is what the Biden administration and this government is trying to do. They're trying to control us. All these solar panel farms and all this nonsense that's going on out there, I'm telling you, they're trying and they're working and they're almost succeeding doing it. They, what do they do? They're using children. Your children are going to have asthma. Oh, well, let me tell you. All the other problems in the world you're worried about, a kid having asthma? What about all the abortions and all the kids you're carrying? You people should be charged with murder. How about that one? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little fired up. It's good to be fired up. Because it needs to. we need to wake up. The devil's gaining ground. Are you ready? Do, do I need to pull the backpack out again? Do we need to pay more attention to our vacation than Christ's coming? Are we ready for Christ? Are we ready? Are you truly ready to go home? Or you want to stay here in this nonsense. Because if you stay here in this nonsense. Exactly what I just read. You stay here. If you're not strong enough to defeat the devil now. You're not going to be strong enough then. You're willingly going to take that mark of the beast. And I don't care how much we go back and forth over this. You willingly take that. You are not going to ever enter into heaven. You blasphemed me. And there's no repentance for that. You will not. If you willingly are here and you take on the mark of the beast, I'm sorry. Go back in the revelation that I just read you. You will be cast to the lake of fire. Notice your first death, he will rise up the dead. Not the dead that's already died and went to hell. Yes, those, those tubes will be pulled up because they will also then be cast into the lake of fire. I haven't got to that part of hell yet. So, the dead in Christ, the ones that denied him, that still walks around out here like the walking dead and mock everything and come against everything. And these are the ones that just sit there and plain out claim most of them claim to be Christians but show the fruit of the devil I told you these next couple of videos I'm gonna ruffle feathers and I'm gonna give you so many nuggets and and I'm not I'm not going to be easy on these because you need to hear it digital dollar. I talked a little bit on that one, even on this. Um, a digital dollar is going to take over the dollar. And I think I told you about the time when we went in and got the Blue Bill ice cream, scanned it. We was at Walmart, walked outside. No sooner we got there, uh, 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 Darlene got an email or a text message. I, I forget which one it is. Saying that there was a recall. Please return the ice cream. I'm going... How in the world did they know just by a scanning a, a bank card with a chip? Oh, because it had the chip. 
But how do they know? Because it's Big Brother. I said, well, first of all, we just ate some of that ice cream the day before and it had a recall. And I'm perfectly fine. Just because I glow in the dark at night doesn't mean that ice cream was bad. I'm joking. Don't go thinking that I'm glowing in the dark at night. Right now I am. I'm like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for crying out loud. Um, I, for fun, funny thing is, after I hit my nose again tonight, I was actually singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer when I got back in the truck. Because I was like... This is getting worse, and it was actually wasn't so bad yesterday. It it really wasn't. But you see right here in the front, I caught it again. I was like, "You got it!" I literally fell to my knees, and I was like in pain, crying, going, "How can this keep happening?" It's like, oh. But either way, come on, laugh with me. It is funny. <laughs> um. I know some of you get upset when I bring negativity comments into the fact, but like I said, hopefully everybody understands why I do it now, because I'm not going to allow the devil to get a, a, a hair crack and use it. Eli. First of all, if you look up Eli and the prophet and all that stuff that goes with it, I, 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 I wish... And I'm not saying to you, yeah, I am going to say it. La Pekalo Pakishma. Devil, get behind me. First of all, first of all, Eli, brother, and normally I don't give, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to call you a brother. Because I don't follow that realm anymore. So I even rebuke what I just say. I take it back in Jesus' name. I rebuke that word that I even called you brother. Because you're not a brother. You are from the devil. And you talk like the devil. And you posted this on one of the hell videos. I don't know if it was the first, the first one. The testimony of the hell. Or... The second one I did on hell. But you come in on the one of those. So. And I'm telling you guys this. Not to go. Attack. Ooh, excuse me. Attack him per se. But you can go read. This whole entire nonsense. I have not even deleted this one. Basically. You said, why would Jesus let anyone go to hell? First of all, Jesus doesn't let anybody go to hell. Jesus don't want anybody to go to hell. Read the Bible. We, we, myself, when I was in that realm, Jesus didn't lead me to hell. I led myself. Lucifer didn't lead me to hell. I led myself. Watch the other videos instead of just coming at me and calling me fake, calling me all the things you call me. I don't care. Because what you call me, you said, um, everything I'm mostly everything I spoke on is lies. I am bored and lonely. I am bored and lonely. Do you really think I am that bored that I got to come on here and post videos and do all that? You don't think I have other better things to do with my entire time in my life? You know how much time I spend in the word and prayer? I don't have time to be bored, my friend. Yes, I will call you my friend. Because you are a cre creation of God. God created you. Whether you are lost in your thoughts, whether you follow the, follow the devil of lies, whether you want to kill him and destroy with the tongue. Oh, yes, I'm glad you talked about the sword of the tongue. Let's see.
right here. I was gonna say, dang, I know I just read it, but it, it caught my attention over here talking about the mark of the beast, his number is 666, which we know that's what's coming too. That will be the abomination that would be taking on the free will. But Eli, let me tell you right here, my my uh since I'm so bored and I have nothing better to do, I'm I'm gonna give you this. He who leads in captive shall go into captive. He who kills with the sword must be killed by with the sword. He who spread, kills with the sword, the tongue, your sword, what you're doing to me is killing me. What you're doing upon me, remember you do it to God and Jesus first. And I and I do believe you claim to be a Christian on on this. Christian of what? Calling me fake, calling me false. What fakeness? What falseness? And I, I'm calling you out on this. I truly am. Because I even told you I was going to name this Eli. Just so you could find it. I'm calling you out. Where am I fake? Where am I false? Everything I say, the Bible matches. You can call me a devil all you want. I was a devil. I followed the devil. I knew the devil. I know what the devil's capable of. That's why the devil's trying to shut me up. And that's why the devil sent you. I rebuke you. And I silence your sword. It has no place here. You're not going to stop the word from being heard. Good try. It's what happens when you walk with the devil longer. You know him. You know what he's capable of. And you know what everyone else is capable of. What does that mean? Glad you asked. Not ready to tell you. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to waste the time on it when I have other things to give to people. That's more important right now because you're going to have a long time to try to convince other people after we're gone. Oh, that's right. You're going to use aliens. What are aliens? All these things that's under Area 51 out there down in these tunnels that don't exist. These mutant things that they're making. That's why they're going to start putting all this nonsense shows out there. If you notice, a lot of the shows that they're getting ready to put on are about the rapture and being left here. And you're going to start seeing these alien... I, I don't know much about these shows, but you're, you're, you're going to see these alien-looking, mutant-looking creatures. Them pod things maybe Elon Musk is doing with these... You don't need the mother's womb because he's maybe he's already part of the. Maybe this is their creation gone bad. Well, we already have robots attacking people and killing people. Two robots supposedly just killed four people. And again, I don't know if I said it said it on this video, but I definitely said it on uh, uh, the prayer one. Um, food shortage, food prices. Well, yes. Because the food shortage is coming. And it's going to start decreasing. The prices are going to start going up. They're going to call it supply and demand. And people are going to lose jobs. People, you think you think the COVID nonsense was something. What's, what's about to come? It's going to be bad. When they start shutting our currency down. And they start shutting your banks down. It doesn't matter if you own gold. And silver, because they're trying. All you got all these people trying to con you into doing that. You also know that gold and silver also failed before. It's useless. What good is it? If you had, even if you had twenty gold bricks in your possession, let's just say you found twenty gold bricks, and we're going through all this. Where are you going to cash it in at? What are you going to do with it? It's all digital money. That gold is useless. And I know there's some people out there going to be like, no, because we can do... Really? The government controls it. It's not like you're going to be able to go into a bank, go into a place that buys this gold and go, oh yeah, I'm going to give you this much for it. 
Really? Because if the government shut down your bank account and gave you digital money, it ain't going to do no good. It seriously is not going to do a bit of freaking good. To have stocks, to have 401k, to have any of that stuff. It's all going to collapse. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't just short everything out at one time and we go to total blackness for three days. Oh, wait. Somebody just spoke about that. You ever watch the movie The Mist? People were dying and they couldn't figure out what was going on. It's, there's something out there. something in the mist, they kept saying. Old movie. They redid it. I believe Mark Wahlberg was in it. Maybe not. I'm almost positive he was. Something about the mist. Something about three days of darkness too, isn't it? We're soon going to find out. We're soon going to find out if I'm wrong or right on this stuff. And I'm hoping I'm wrong. I don't think I'm going to. Because they're taking away fossil fuels. You realize these semi-trucks, it's it's called DEF, D-E-F. It basically, you put that in there and that's, you know why you don't see semi-trucks driving down the road anymore, blowing out all that black smoke? But you see these Ford trucks and all these kids that put the big semi-looking uh, exhaust out of the back of their trucks and it blows all that black smoke all at once. Because they don't have the DEF tanks on their trucks. Clean air, we had to do because of California. Well, most place, most trucking companies don't even go into California anymore. They have outside things or, or it's all rail stuff. Uh, a lot of companies won't go in there because of all the nonsense you got to go through to get into California. It's worse trying to get into California than it is getting into Canada and coming back through Canada. It's amazing how you can go into Canada... And you don't got to prove that you're a citizen of the United States. But when you come back, you got to prove you're... Um, I have a driver's license and I still need a passport. I literally have a driver's license. I have a social security card and a birth certificate and a driver's license. It proves that I am a citizen of the United States and you want me to go get a passport. And then they stamp it. Uh, yeah, right. You're not tracking me. I don't care. I will just never go to Canada. Now, if I did need a passport to fly somewhere to go to another country, then uh, I would probably give it a second thought. But to go to Canada, I, I like the way they, they talk up there. Uh, hey, <laughs> I, I went to this, I, I worked at this one trucking company and the guy was from Canada. <laughs> I, I used to go, hey, he goes, you're saying it wrong. I'm like, I don't care. It's still funny. What's so funny about it? You making fun of the way I talk? I said, no, Rizzo, I'm not making fun of the way you talk. And he goes, who the hell's Rizzo? And I was like, it's a movie. American movie. He goes, are you seriously coming against Canada? I was like, no. What's wrong with Canada? He goes, nothing. I said, well, then, if there's nothing wrong with it, why are you living in the United States? He goes, do you always answer questions with questions? I was like, I didn't know I answered the question with the question. But, but, but do you see how some people just get... I, I don't know. There, I, to me, there's not enough laughter in the world, I guess. Or, or I just totally... I've always said that I got a different personality and in, in a different way of looking at things in life. And what makes other people laugh doesn't make me. Like, I think Chevy Chase was very funny. I, I loved him in Fletch. Uh, I loved him in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I mean, there's a lot of movies that I think he was just brilliant. I mean, just plain brilliant. Um, then again, you know, that's just my personality, I guess. Uh, but anyways, um, I got a feeling we're in for, you know, because they're, they're starting to talk about this shots again. And uh, now they're saying without the shot, it can cause problems when you're driving. Are you kidding me? 
it, people, if we start believing all this nonsense, then we truly get whatever come, is coming to us. And, and I'm being serious. We deserve whatever it is. Because we're not willing to stand up. Um, we have to stay firm and we got to stay together. I'm, I'm being serious right now. Um, if things start to go bad, I told you before, candles, get a sleeping bag, get a tent. Tent is, uh, I believe, is going to be very important um, because of the fact you can get in there, body heat. Food supply, but I do recommend you don't keep food supply all in the same place. Put it in different locations. But you also got to understand if, if they're watching and people are following, then I wouldn't go straight to a food source. And that's why I said don't put it in one place because people get hungry enough and this goes like I think it's going to do, like in the end, in the end of the end. And people are going to follow you. And they're going to want to see why you're not eating. And if you are, they're going to want to take it. But we'll cross that when we come to it. Um, I believe in Jesus. I trust in Jesus. But I also know Jesus gives warnings on things. And I also know that he, if he doesn't come yet, and we have to go through this dark time, then he's get, he's preparing us for it. I do believe that. So we are to take warning on things and, and listen to it. Pray on it. So let's all pray on it. And um, let's come back and see. Anyways... Um, going to do another I don't know if I'm going to, if it's going to be on Zoom or I'm looking into this other way of doing it uh, it's going to be a good brother of mine um, I'm really excited I'm really excited to hear his story and what basically what's going to happen is um if it's Zoom, I'm just going to ask you guys to mute your mics and wait to the end because uh, I'm going to give him, he's going to have an opportunity to come and speak and share some events in his life. And w w what an awesome guy. I mean, truly, you know, uh, inspiration. He has um, left beautiful comments to people. I mean, it's like, it's like, I'm so glad he's there because he's like in this in this ministry walk per se and he's doing a lot of answering of stuff and um, I'm very thankful for him. I honestly I'm very thankful to have a brother like that in my corner, let alone with you guys also, because you know just I mean, what an inspiration. You know, just the guy's comments and all the and all the stuff that he does, the the silliness, the funniness, um, I I don't get too choked up on a lot of stuff. Some stuff does kind of hit me, but um, my in my spirit of spirit, my spirit. I know this is a true follower of God. I really do. And I don't and I really don't believe I'm wrong with that just by the words that this person speaks. The devil's good, but he's not that good. And I do believe um, we're gonna be in for one one heck of a story. 
when he shares. And I'm, I know for to be first handed, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I, I really am. That's why I'm rushing quickly to get all these all these things worked out. And um, um, <laughs> I, yeah, I I try to be serious, but I, I I think about the stuff we talk about, and it just makes me laugh. Um, So, so that being said, um, beautiful, beautiful country that they live in. Not that I've ever seen. I mean, I, I should say I've never personally walked there, but I have seen it because I asked. I, if a certain movie, if that's truly what it looks like. Because the closest I know that when anything that I've seen, the closest to that would be like Nevada, Arizona area. And... That's beautiful to me too. I, I just love walking around in the mountains and them. I went into a cave once and <laughs> can't, I don't know why I tell you guys this stuff because one day I might run into somebody and it's going to be, uh, I, I ran, <laughs> I cannot believe I'm, I'm trying. Okay. I went in a cave in Arizona. I went in one of the caves. It was like on this mountain thing and I'm walking and I, I go in there and I keep hearing this sound. I'm going, what if it's a cougar? What if it's, you know, all this stuff goes through there because, you know, you watch movies and you got bears and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, well, chance of being a bear in the desert, probably not so much. All right, I'm just going to tell you, I turned my, I had this the head thing. It, it's, um got a lot like elastic band and it's got a, a flashlight kind of like a coal miners flashlight but it's like a tiny little thing and you push it with well, it's a flashlight so yeah you gotta turn it on but anyways um not duh to you like duh to me like duh it's good like a anyways i turned it on and i'm like looking around i'm like what is that sound i take a little bit more step and i look upwards and it's full of bats like bats first thing went through my head was vampire bats I took off running and screaming like a little girl. And I'm like checking myself, checking. I left my backpack. <laughs> now granted, I'm like going through my head going, first of all, I screamed like a little freaking girl all the way out, out of this cave. Like what if I woke these things up? <laughs> and I'm going... So what do I do? Well, I always tied rope to an outside source so I could find my way back out of a cave. When I ran out of rope, that was it. I was I was going back. Well, 100 feet of cord, 100 feet of rope. That's quite a bit. That's that's pretty far to go into a cave, 100 foot, and not even know where you're at. So naturally, I'm coming back out of that thing. Hopefully. So. I remembered. Well, what do I tie it to? My backpack. So I start pulling on the rope. And it stops. I'm chunking, chunking. I'm like, great. So I start walking in there. Hold on to the rope. I get all the way down. I look down and I'm thinking, I don't see nothing, but it was got caught on a rock. When it came around a corner, it got caught on a rock. So I said, okay, no big deal. Pick it up. Right when I picked it up, it's freaking bad. It was like, I kind of like walking on like its wings like type thing. And it's just like coming like creepy little spider looking bat looking thing. I take off running with the backpack. A bat is like, I don't know if it's flying or running on the ground. I'm like looking and it's just like making this funky sound. And I'm going and start to get close to dark and I'm going great. I have to go from where I'm at 
all the way out to the road and down about a mile and a half to get back to the truck stop. I get outside, I hook the rope, and I'm booking. I mean, I'm trucking across. I was in good shape back then. I wasn't hurt back then either. I mean, I could literally move and run and everything. So I'm bebopping through there, and I got that backpack on, and I'm just trucking. I'm rolling the rope up as I'm going so it doesn't get caught on any rocks or anything. And I'm like looking back, I kept looking back, and I'm like, okay, that freaking bat's gone. And all of a sudden, I felt this. I'm like, what the heck is that? There was bats on the back of my freaking backpack. I'm like chucking that thing off, and I'm like dancing around, and some guy comes out, come down the road in the pickup truck, and sprays a uh, a fire extinguisher. I guess something with that chemical or something he said, but they did actually jump off the. I'm like trying to breathe now with after he just tossed me with the freaking fire extinguisher. I'm going, I hate to see what they would do if I was on fire. <laughs> I mean, this is stuff that goes through my head. It's like, whatever. You know, it's like, anyway, anyways. I need sleep, so let's pray, and um, let me know what you guys think about this, you know, comment on it, and um, I think it's pretty much touched on the majority of it right now. There is a few other things that I want to dig deeper into this, but like I said, uh, I, I am really tired. I mean, I got up at early this morning, super early, and uh, I gotta get up super early tomorrow too, but anyways, God bless you guys, I love you, I thank you for being here, and I thank you for being a part of this, For and most of all, I thank you for not being judgmental, and I thank you for understanding why I bring things to surface when the enemy comes a-knocking, um, I just touched on a few things that, that he said that was beyond nonsense. So either way, God bless you guys. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for truth, and we thank you for opening our eyes and our hearing. We thank you for letting us see the signs that are coming. We thank you for letting us see the things that are happening here on earth that the Bible warned us about and tells us about. We know that they're coming to rob, kill, and destroy us. Because why? Because the enemy, that's what he does. And we know that you are mightier. We know that you are the creator or you've created of all things on here. Even Satan was cast out of heaven by one of your smallest of all smallest angels. How embarrassing he must feel that the peon of peons cast him out of hell. I mean, cast him out of heaven into hell. He couldn't even create hell. You've created that for him. And we know that your, your purpose is not for one person to fall into the lake of fire. But we end up leaving ourselves there. So, Father, we just ask for forgiveness as you're molded and sculpted in this earth and as you continue to move forward on this earth to make us ready for that return home. By all costs, Father, I know I speak of myself and I pray for the others. Let all things be removed from them and let your will be done in our lives. And let us constantly seek you and go into prayer and let us be next to you. I just pray the blood of your Son over top of each and every person that watches this video. I ask for your love and mercy and grace to fulfill in our hearts and over and, and through our bodies. Let us always use our swords in the way that it was meant to be. Let the spirit of you shine through us and let we be the example of you. And we thank you, Lord, for going to the, going to the cross. And we thank you for preparing a place for us. We love you and we praise you. Amen. Thank you guys. Thank you for being here. Love you. Till the next one.